Hi there, this is a short demonstration to show you how the graphic design software RelayDoubt works. So I've already created an account and opened the platform and this is what it would look like when you enter it. So and I already created a new project called Relay That Video because we will now create a post for the social promotion of this, this video on social media. So you can start with any design that is provided to you here. I just chose this one for now. And the first thing we're going to do is upload a photo. So we're going to upload here a portrait photo under photo one. So we're going to choose this one. And it takes a few seconds to load completely. And once it's uploaded, you will see that it will automatically be put here into the design. And when you scroll down, you see that the photo then automatically is added to all the other designs as well. Now I want to enlarge this photo a little bit. So I'm just going to click on it and then zoom into it. So that is much better. I could also change the color of it if I wanted to, but I think for now it's fine to just leave it like that. Then we can upload another picture. I'm just going to upload this one. And again, it'll take a few seconds to load and then it'll appear in the background. Now, I don't like that the picture is so dark and that is because there's an overlay. So I can either turn off the overlay or I can change the color of the overlay. In this case, I'm going to use white so that keeps the picture um, in the background, but much lighter. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is these titles that are already there and you just update them by entering text here. I'm going to type in my title, which is how to use relay that. And as you see, as I type, the title is just put in here automatically. I can add my website address. And it just appears down here. I can enter my name. And also, for example, my um, Wool Academy. If I decide that I don't want, for example, Wool Academy to show as a title, I can just turn it off and back on again as I wish. Now, I don't like that the font is actually white. I want it to be black. So I'm just going to click on the font and then I get this new menu over here and I can click here on this color and choose black for my purposes now. And I also don't like uh, while we're on, on the font, I'm going to change the font because typically you might remember for my podcast, I use this type of font. So I'm just going to change it to that for now. And I also don't like here the black of the stripe. So I'm going to change that to white. But then, of course, the font needs to be changed to black so that we can see it. Okay, so that would be one layout that's ready to use. And you would just then click here on download. You can download as a, as a PNG or as a JPEG as you like. But for social media, it's always best to use PNG. Now, let's now have a look at other formats. So if you go here on the side, you can choose from different layouts that are square posts, which are great for Facebook and Instagram. Then you can choose, for example, Twitter headers if we wanted to. And for each of these, you would um, just go in, like pick one and then change the design as you need it. And what I already did, because I've been working with Relay that for some time now, I already have a library of styles that I like and use a lot. So you might remember this one I use a lot when I create a post for Facebook. So for this, for example, 
I would just change it like that. And here you can see that I can also upload my logo. So I'm going to do that. And this would then typically be my layout for my Facebook post. Is that changing? Sometimes it's not entirely clear what you need to change. So it was this one that we had to change. Okay, I can enlarge my picture again. There. And I don't like the black border, so I'm going to take that away. So there would be my Facebook post ready to use. And I would just download it and then move on to the next project. So I want to create a thumbnail for this um, video. And I typically use this design for a thumbnail. However, I do adjust it also a little bit. So again, I'm not a fan of the line. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to change the color of this um, overlay, no, of this one to this color there that looks already how I would use it for a thumbnail however I would also in this case change the font again to this now and this would be the thumbnail that I would use for my video and I would just download it and then it's ready to go so I hope this gave you a little bit of an overview how easy it is to quickly edit all sorts of designs and all sorts of sizes and you can also be sure that um, the designs work because they have been tested and then you just need to choose which one you like, add as many pictures as the design needs um, changed around of course not everything works all the time but that's where you would need to adjust um, as you see fit okay thank you for listening I enjoyed the time with you if you have any questions let me know and bye for now